so the next object that we are going to do is a brinjal so i am having a big brinjal in front of me next step i am just going to draw the outer shape of the brinjal this is the stem part so i have removed cobalt blue carmine red and persian blue for this object and i am using a round brush these are tube colors so the first step is to make a light purplish tone so i am going to use uh, cobalt blue and crimson and get a nice purple shade like this and before i apply the color here i am going to take another big sized brush like this you can see i am taking a big brush like this and applying plain water on this area just so that the color spreads out a little evenly because this is a big area that's why we are using this technique here all right so coming back to this color now so i'm starting from the corners like this and very carefully i'm going to leave out the highlights so even if you don't leave the highlight if you forget to leave the highlight it's okay you can always use white poster color to make the highlights later on okay so this is the base coat that we have applied now using the same two colors i'm going to use it as a darkish tone like a middle tone and while it is wet i'm going to just make a few strokes like this the brush wipe it as you can see there are few uh, red dots coming out here because there was some red color in the brush but no problem you can just wash the brush wipe it and try to remove this reddish color like this now at this stage if you want you can just increase the highlight you can use a smaller sized brush just wipe it properly and you can just remove the color like this at this stage okay so this is the way you can um, apply the highlight without applying white color now i can see another highlight patch out here so i'm just making a stroke like this okay it won't be uh, paper white like this but it's good enough and now here i'm going to do a little blending on the edges so that the highlight doesn't look 
too sharp okay so once this is done i'll just do a little uh, finishing on this part here okay so next i'm going to use a medium size brush and this is where i'm going to use persian blue color so this is a very dark shade that i'm going to use because you can see the color of the object is almost black color okay so i am taken out persian blue thick color and can add a little crimson in it so that this doesn't look too blue now with this dark shade i am applying the color in a few places like this just be very confident of your strokes and don't be too fast to color these strokes okay so once the strokes are done then this is the time to blend so i'm taking a slightly big sized brush and using it to do the blending like this again wash the brush wipe it And just apply a few strokes like this so that it will blend smoothly now again if you want you can turn the paper around you can turn the paper like this for the blending work wash the brush wipe it so this light portion is always there in uh, any of these shining objects it is called reflected light and especially you can see it in the brinjal and you can see there is a white light out here that is because of the reflection of the paper okay so the paper is white if it was a colored drapery example uh, yellow colored drapery below or even yellow colored paper so i would be seeing a bit of yellow below so in that case i would have to take a bit of yellow and apply the stroke here to make it look more natural okay so now i'm just doing a little blending of the dark tones here and there This, has, this part has become a little patchy, so I'm just going to add a few more dark tones like this with this big brush. And even overall, I feel the object is much more darker in color. as you can see if i'm uh, holding the paper in a comfortable angle it becomes much more easier for coloring and blending the strokes lifting off a little bit of color here because i have slightly applied a little more than i wanted to okay so this looks fine now so once this part has dried up then we can start with this green part okay so this part is drying up till that time we can start with the base coat of this color so the two colors that i'm going to use here are uh, lemon yellow and sap green so 
so this is a little sap green i'm adding with this lemon yellow shade and adding a little water to it to make it watery just observe the shade if it is too fresh then what you can do is just add a little bit of vermilion red this is vermilion red so i'm just adding it see how much i'm taking the color okay so once the color is fine you can just supply it on one side and check if the color is fine if it is then you can start applying the color like this remember this part has to dry if it is not dried up then it can come inside the green part okay so i'm just applying the base coat of this color okay so next step is to add the dark tones so for the dark tones i'm going to add a little more sap green and a little bit of vermilion red to the color so automatically i'll get a dark tone so i'm using this shade to add some stroke some textures you can see the texture of this stem in a particular direction okay so once this is done then you can just wash the brush wipe it and blend some of these strokes which have not blended properly remember you don't have to make it super smooth you have to uh, make the texture of the stem as a reason i am using lines like this okay so now i can see there is a slight yellow ochre on this area so i am taking a light wash of yellow ochre applying it here okay so next uh, i can see there are a lot of uh, dark lines like brown lines so what i'm going to do is i'll just take out a little bit of brown and add it in this sap green color and apply this in small dots this way so this is the actual texture on the stem part a uh, few strokes here as well okay and then same color is repeating on this edge in this way okay so this is almost done now only the shadow is remaining now for the shadow i will have to take fresh water i cannot use this dark water so i'm back with my clean water now so i'm taking a 7 or 8 number brush and applying water below the object Okay, very carefully this way and for the shadow so bit of brown burnt sienna and a bit of blue so i'm just borrowing the color which i had made for the darker tone of the brinjal and when you mix it with brown you'll get a nice gray dull shade so very carefully apply it below the object this way okay 
next step wash the brush wipe it and just blend the edge of the shadow like this now in this part uh, i'm going to leave it sharp because the object is touching the ground and where the object is touching the ground the shadow in that area will be sharp okay so this is how it's done now i'm just going to increase the dark tone in the shadow a little bit more so that i get a little more depth in the object so it's basically the same color slightly more darker slightly more persian blue and when the reflected light is so light the shadow will really stand out and the object will stand out eventually wash the brush wipe it and just carefully blend the dark tone of the shadow like this so remember to use a very few strokes because the more strokes you do the more patchy your work becomes